Well, everybody. Well, the water level is still going down rapidly, which gives accessibility all the way around the reservoir. Still sticking to the small fry. It's very cloudy though, the water is very cloudy. So I'll have to probably do a very small or very slow figure of eight rather than stripping it because I might be missing them fish. But let's see how we get on. This is what happened the other day. As I say, I noticed when I got to the water, it was very dark, very murky. I think the rains that we'd had the previous couple of days had washed this bank in, i.e. all around the reservoir, into the water. I'm surprised the fish actually saw the flies. I used to fish at 12 inch strips, but on this I went down to a fast figure of eight. Fished the margins only, kept it within three or four foot. A lot of people within the club have been doing that over the last couple of days to great success but on the opposite side of the bank. Started at my usual spot, up by the Pixies doors, and got my first fish, or did I? Oh. So missing that one, I decided to move down towards the boathouse. There's a nice exposed area. It's about 100 metres in length and you can start off at the top right or the bottom left and it enables you to cast left and right. Again, three or four foot off the banking. That's all you need to do. And again, as I say, change your position. I'm moving down a couple of feet every time. Cast left and right, move down. Because although I've already gone past place, I've just fished. Leave it about five or six minutes because the fish will come in. They come in really close. The only reason I notice this is that when I've been fishing, slightly off to my right about a rod length, a fish had come in and chased some fry. And I'd only just been there moments before, so the fish do move into the banking on a regular basis. Got into this fish, I was messing around again because I had a very light tip it on. I wasn't taking control of the fish. And well, this is what happened. We're on. We're off. So on that visit, I'd hooked in two fish and landed nothing. So I decided the following day, came back down. Water level was lower, cloud base was down. I went down to the same spot because it gives me the opportunity to walk up and down the bank in over a, quite a distance. The point is it's very steep here, so you've got to watch your footing because it does drop off very quickly. And again, using the same fry pattern, in I went. I had to cut the sound at the end due to the outcome of hooking into that fish. But I wasn't going to give up. I don't normally lose it, but I did then. I was very annoyed with myself. Um, again, I'm probably on that six pound tip it. The thing was putting up a fair fight and uh, I was pretty annoyed with myself when it got off because I thought, I'm never going to land one. W why? Why is this happening? But anyway, I did persevere. So sticking with the same fry pattern, because I was very tempted to go back to the BBOs and the red tag spiders, but I'd caught fish on them. I wanted to catch a fish on fry. Or shall I say, I wanted to land a fish. They were taking it. Uh, was it a case that they were going for the, the the longer part of the fly? They weren't exactly hooking themselves properly. I don't know. But anyway, the cloud base was lifted. It was getting a little warmer. The fish were still close in. You didn't need to cast out far. Up and down the bank, up and down the bank. That's all I did. Anyway, it paid off. Hallelujah. Some bad that one.
When I say the fish were close in, I didn't realise how close they were. Because after I landed that fish, I looked down at my line and I saw something in the water, literally 12 inch from the bank. It was a small brownie just sat there looking at. Uh, I'd seen cormorants, at least four, flying around earlier on that morning. And I think this might have been a target of theirs because it looked damaged on the left, but uh, it did swim off eventually. But again, fish right beneath my feet. Well, that's the end of the day. The water is really coloured. But got myself a nice rainbow. Or was it an undeveloped blue? Hooked another nice one, lost that one, and then just had a gentle pull on the other. But it's literally, it was about a foot, a foot and a half of visibility. It's a shame, if it was any clearer, I think I might have got more of a reaction. But we need some more water in here. This water really needs to start filling up because we've got so much banking exposed. And when it rains, all this rubbish here goes in. Anyway, thanks so much for watching everybody and I'll catch you later.